Hello, good evening, welcome to St Mary's Halesworth. It's six o'clock on Saturday the 29th of January. We are using Church of England's Common Worship Daily Prayer, Evening Prayer for Epiphany Season, which you'll find in the book after prayer during the day towards the beginning. There are two sections, Ordinary Time and the Seasons, Evening Prayer, Epiphany Season in the latter. If you're following online, you'll find the words at the Church of England's website or Aremus Daily Prayer, possibly more straightforward to find it there. And one may download apps for Apple or Android devices, whichever is more appropriate for you. I'm in the building, 8 and 6 every day bar Monday. Tomorrow we'll be doing a 10 o'clock traditional communion at 8 in the morning and a said even song with hymns in the evening. I, certainly the latter will go out on Facebook and uh, we're going out uh, morning and evening prayer on our Blythe Church's Facebook page, live streaming. It stays up to watch at your leisure. I upload the audio onto my Dominic Doble YouTube channel in an hour or so's time, uh, will be, and uh, the details for the Zoom, which I open uh, and close uh, every time I'm in here, you'll find on the Blythe Church's website and Facebook page too, and indeed in our magazine. Very welcome to join, as you will, when you are able. O God, make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your glory is proclaimed in all the world. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. You gave your Christ as a light to the nations, and through the anointing of the Spirit you established us as a royal priesthood. As you call us into your marvellous light, may our lives bear witness to your truth, and our lips never cease to proclaim your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The JSB Monsal hymn, described here as the following. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, bow down before him his glory proclaim. With gold of obedience and incense of lowliness, kneel and adore him, the Lord is his name. Lo, at his feet lay thy burden of carefulness, high on his heart he will bear it for thee. Comfort thy sorrows and answer thy prayerfulness, guiding thy steps as may best for thee be. Fear not to end his court in the slenderness of the poor wealth thou wouldst reckon as thine. Truth in its beauty and love in its tenderness, these are the offerings to lay on his shrine. These though we bring them in trembling and fearfulness, he will accept for the name that is dear. Mornings of joy give for evenings of tearfulness, trust for our trembling and hope for our fear. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, bow down before him, his glory proclaim. With gold of obedience and incense of lowliness, kneel and adore him, the Lord is his name. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. <clears throat> As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. The Psalms may be found, if you're following the book, in the Psalter at the back online. We just scroll on. 72 and 76 are the numbers appointed for this evening. I'll read straight through and pause that we may use the prayers that follow. I'll say the glory be after the last verse. Had anybody been with us, they might have read the even verses. So you're welcome to listen to all, read all, or just read the evens yourself. Psalms 72 and 76. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. 
Give the king your judgments, O God, and your righteousness to the son of a king. Then shall he judge your people righteously, and your poor with justice. May the mountains bring forth peace, and the little hills righteousness for the people. May he defend the poor among the people, deliver the children of the needy, and crush the oppressor. May he live as long as the sun and moon endure, from one generation to another. May he come down like rain upon the mown grass, like the showers that water the earth. In his time shall righteousness flourish, and abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. May his dominion extend from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. May his foes lick, kneel before him, and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the isles shall pay tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring gifts. All kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall do him service. For he shall deliver the poor that cry out, the needy and those that have no helper. He shall have pity on the weak and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence, and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live, and to him may be given gold from Sheba. May prayer be made for him continually, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grain on the earth standing thick upon the hilltops. May its fruit flourish like Lebanon, and its grain grow like the grass of the field. May his name remain forever, and be established as long as the sun endures. May all nations be blessed in him and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wonderful things. And blessed be his glorious name forever. May all the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. The Lord has made fast his throne for judgment. In Judah, God is known. His name is great in Israel. At Salem is his tabernacle and his dwelling place in Zion. There broke he the flashing arrows of the bow, the shield, the sword, and the weapons of war. In the light of splendor you appeared, glorious from the eternal mountains. The boastful were plundered, they have slept their sleep. None of the warriors can lift their hand. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, both horse and chariot fell stunned. Terrible are you in majesty, who can stand before your face when you are angry. You caused your judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth trembled and was still. When God arose to judgment to save all the meek upon earth, <clears throat> you crushed the wrath of the peoples and bridled the wrathful remnant. Make a vow to the Lord your God and keep it. Let all who are round about him bring gifts to him that is worthy to be feared. He breaks down the spirit of princes and strikes terror in the kings of the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord has made fast his throne for judgment. <clears throat> Scrolling past our first reading to the Song of Praise. Uh, if you're following in the book, you'll need to turn back to evening prayer during Epiphany season. We'll read it as we did the psalm. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise forever. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain. And by your blood you ransomed for God saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise for ever. Hosea 8, our first reading in the Hebrew Scriptures, Minor Prophet, towards the end. So if you've got a Holy Bible off the shelf, <coughs> about two-thirds of the way in, 
and then uh, work back a little. You may find it, otherwise do use an index, H-O-S-E-A. And we're looking for the whole of chapter 8. Large number at the head of the paragraph is the chapter number. If you're following online, just scroll back from the canticle we have just read. Set the trumpet to your lips. One like a vulture is over the house of the Lord, because they have broken my covenant and transgressed my law. Israel cries to me, my God, we Israel know you. Israel has spurned the good. The enemy shall pursue him. They made kings, but not through me. They set up princes, but without my knowledge. With their silver and gold they have made idols for their own destruction. Your calf is rejected, O Samaria. My anger burns against them. How long will they be incapable of innocence? For it is from Israel an artisan made it. It is not God. The calf of Samaria shall be broken to pieces. For they sow the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. The standing grain has no heads. It shall yield no meal. If it were to yield, foreigners would devour it. Israel is swallowed up. Now they are among the nations it's as a useless vessel. For they have gone up to Assyria, a wild ass wandering alone. Ephraim has bargained for lovers. Though they bargain with the nations, I will now gather them up. They shall soon writhe under the burdens of kings and princes. When Ephraim multiplied altars to expiate sin, they became to him altars for sinning. Though I write for him the multitude of my instructions, they are regarded as a strange thing. Though they offer choice sacrifices, though they eat flesh, the Lord does not accept them. Now he will remember their iniquity and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. Israel has forgotten his maker and built palaces. And Judah has multiplied fortified cities. But I will send a fire upon his cities and it shall devour his strongholds. <coughs> Again, we have Hosea writing to Samaria, Ephraim, Judah, and Israel, tribes, peoples, areas, and uh, the concern for all in this passage of Scripture is that they have ride either on their own strength or turned to false gods and or turned up to neighbouring powers <coughs> for strength and support rather than turning to God. The same sort of misdemeanours or errors, if you like, that Jesus was tempted with before going into ministry when he was talking, wrestling with his own voices and or the personification of evil as the New Testament presents or the Second Covenant presents. The devil <coughs> doing things his way rather than God's way. We do things our way rather than Yahweh's way. And uh, if we endeavour to do so, we will reap the whirlwind. They set up princes, but without my knowledge. With silver and gold they made idols for their own destruction. They've broken my covenant and transgressed my law. <coughs> where we have inadvertently or deliberately done the same. May God welcome us back into the covenant through what God has done for us in Jesus by the Spirit, that we may be restored, redeemed. To our second reading, 1 Corinthians 12, from 1 to 11, scrolling on online, following in a Bible, turning to about halfway through the last third of a Bible, <clears throat> in the middle of the second covenant, Greek scripture, you should find First Corinthians. There are three books. We're in the first of those, and uh, there are a number of bits of letters distributed across those three. But it's described as first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. You are looking for the large number twelve, chapter twelve, in the book of First Corinthians, and then the small numbers in the text, verses one to eleven. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brothers and sisters, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were, were pagans, you were enticed and led astray to idols that could not speak. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking by the Spirit of God ever says, let Jesus be cursed, and no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit, and there are varieties of services, but the same Lord, and there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them to, in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the one Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another the discernment of spirits, to another various kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. All these are activated by one and the same Spirit, who are lots to each one individually, just as the Spirit chooses 
So Paul, in his teaching to the church, Gentile and Jewish background, he's moving on to talk about the Holy Spirit. He says, before you came to faith, you were enticed and led astray by idols that couldn't speak. And this is a fundamental difference. Indeed, in uh, Isaiah and other writers, when God's people were going into exile, having worshipped idols, being surrounded by different uh, religious views and perspectives, those who spoke for, as they understood it, the true way, the God of Abraham, David, they would say that the creator God uh, could foretell the future and uh, was the creator. <clears throat> and he has compared, or God has compared uh, favourably to these idols that uh, couldn't move and uh, couldn't speak, couldn't hear. And um, here that idea is restored. Idols that can't speak were being worshipped before these people came to faith in the true God. And here and now, as they have received the Spirit, as we have, we may receive revelation through scripture, tradition and reason. God speaks today, unlike the idols. Through us, as we are moved, we all have the Spirit. We receive the Spirit uh, in the baptism of Jesus. The Church of England's liturgy for that is confirmation, having been washed in the water of John's baptism, christening, baptism, and uh, people uh, who are able to speak for themselves may receive both at the same time as the bishop blesses and prays for them. And having received the Spirit, we are born again into the church, we are sustained and enabled, and we have that mark, that seal. And through that one Spirit, we have different gifts, talents, abilities, fruit, ministries. <clears throat> and here we have the ministries listed knowledge, wisdom, healing, miracles, prophecy. So no, these are the gifts rather, sorry, there are varieties of gifts. And uh, so we have these gifts of wisdom, knowledge, healing, faith, miracles, prophecy, discernment, the speaking of and interpretation of tongues. And uh, so we thank God for the way God speaks to us corporately, the one spirit, but we need to be gathered together in our diversity that we may share the fullness of God's blessing. Going back to Paul talking about the body, we are not all prophets, we are not all knowledgeable or full of the, 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 knowledge, the, spirit, the knowledge of the Spirit. So let us encourage each other as we return to the responsory in evening prayer during Epiphany season. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. God's salvation has been openly shown to all people. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. The Song of Mary. Behold my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights, the anointed one on whom my spirit rests. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, Remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights, the anointed one on whom my spirit rests. As we come to the end of this day of rest, we thank you that you are our rest. And if we do choose to live under the covenant, we don't, like the people who Hosea was writing, to strive to make our own connections, that we might be privileged, getting to know people who might favour us, going to other belief systems for our sustenance and empowerment, our well-being. But we rest in you. 
the source of the Sabbath, the heir of peace, our advocate and comforter, three in one, one in three. And as we come to the end of this day, we thank you for the peace we have enjoyed, the rest, the creativity, perhaps food, perhaps exercise, perhaps jobs done, the satisfaction, even in a restful way, perhaps, <clears throat> where we've had time to do things that we might otherwise not have had. Time with friends or family, we thank you for all these blessings. We also look back on over the day and we may, with others, have found the day to be tiresome. We may have been anxious. We may have had so much to do because we've been at home and not at work. We may have spent time with people we don't perhaps normally spend time with and that might have been difficult. We may have had bad news, lost money. We may have been poorly. People may have been unkind to us. And so we come to you at the end of this day, praying for your respite, your peace, your protection, your provision, your redemption. From Elise International, we stand with Elise partner, Dr. Berhana As Melash, in interceding for Christians in Eritrea and the Tigray region. We pray for grace that they can receive with joy the suffering that they are facing because they are doing it for the sake of Christ. We pray also that they will hope for release from that suffering. And uh, whilst to some extent, I guess, it is a witness and a testimony, may they, like Paul, be enabled to stand up for themselves. Pray that recent national will stand with them in that regard. From Christian Aid, as I turn up their website for today's entry, We thank God for the Breaking the Barriers programme. Just doing the Find Out More button to see. It aims to increase rural women's jobs and income in the sustainable energy sector and improve working and living conditions, promoting gender equality and strengthening women's social status. So indeed, we do thank God for that initiative. Now, Suffolk Diocese Cycle, we pray today for the Rowan Baton with Hesset and Rushbrook parishes and uh, their lead clergy person, Nick, and those that work with him as uh, permission to officiate as uh, associate curates, as elders, readers, and also their lay leadership in terms of church wardens, treasurers and secretaries. We pray a blessing on them. May they be encouraged as they lean into, lean on to your covenant relationship as the God that speaks empowered by the Spirit or empowering them by the Spirit. We pray for Messy Church across the diocese in its various forms, in its various places. We pray for all who are engaged with it um, and uh, we pray that it will continue to grow and inspire. And we pray for climate justice, that world leaders will enact their promises made at the COP26 conference and look for ways to improve on them. We pray for real action to take place to reduce carbon emissions in the year ahead. And uh, in our cycle of prayer for uh, the team, we pray for our lay leadership here, for Geoffrey, Pedro, Karen, Karen, Jason and Philip, as uh, lay chair, treasurer administrator, Choir director, organist, and uh, tower spokesman, spokesperson. Um, and we thank you for all that they do, mostly carrying one or two, or wearing one or two hats, if not more. And uh, we pray that they will know your grace and your provision, that they will not be overstretched, and uh, that they will be blessed as they serve you. And we thank you for the contributions they make and as the team rector, I thank God for their support. And turning to my corona list, we pray for people in the emergency medical services and for the future. We ask that those who serve us to keep us safe and well will be kept safe and well themselves. There will be enough money paid through taxes to provide enough people that they will have time off and not have to work ridiculous shifts. And we pray they will have enough kit that their professional training will be able to be expressed um, rather than hindered by a lack of kit on the wards. 
And we also look to the future, giving thanks for all those lessons we've learned about ourselves and our community, our families, creation, exercise, eating, sharing, growing, textiles, music. That we maintain those interests, maintain those connections, recognise the importance of community and uh, run with it into the future and not lose that uh, as a benefit that we've taken from this COVID-19 condition. Now it is endemic. And we bring to you those for whom life is difficult at the moment. Liz and Anthony, Peter, Betty, Maggie, Ron, Sarah, Valerie, Beryl, Barbara, Di, Dennis and Kay, David and Jean, Olive, Paddy, Liliane, Emily, Mike, Doreen, Margaret, Malcolm and Fred. We thank you for all of these and uh, for their lives, however challenged, and we pray that you will break through for them with your sovereign grace. Please manifest in them your provision, your healing, your hope, and that they will know that and speak of it, and thereby be an encouragement to those around them. And we thank you for all that's good in lives for Hale and Teresa, Len, Ron, Jean, Des, Susan, Arnold, Basil, Claire, and all others who have recently died. We remember those we've known and loved and see no longer, those whose years mind falls at this time, and all who've served you faithfully here, as well as those who've died suddenly and unprepared through sickness, violence, and accident, and those that have taken their own lives. Let us turn grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. We pray for ourselves and all who mourn the loss of loved one or a change in life chances that you will be for us, the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Almighty God in Christ, you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace, and in the renewal of our lives, make known your heavenly glory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Believing the promises of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God bless those with us on YouTube and 